Okay, so I've seen these instructions online about how to make the typewriter effect in Sony Vegas, and some people tell you to um, insert regular text and just make keyframes, which is great if you're doing a word, but uh, if you're trying to do sentences or paragraphs or you just want to uh, do the updated version, you can use the uh, prototype filter, which is built in. So first thing you need to do if you don't have one is insert a video track. Uh, once you have that, you can go to insert generated media. And then select the uh, Sony Prototype Titler. And uh, if you've never used this before, it can be pretty daunting. Uh, I've never even used Sony Vegas before. So uh, reading instructions on the internet and how to do this in just text uh, is very confusing. Talking about moving sliders and clicking swirls and it took me a good 30 minutes to figure out what the hell I was doing, which is why I'm making this video. So uh, you can just double click here and now you can start typing text. Um, so I'll just type some text. All right, and I can style my text here. Reduce the font size. And if you scroll, you can zoom out. That way you can make it easier to center this. And you can do that after um, you exit the text edit mode. So center this. OK, great. And you see up top here, it says press escape to exit. So I'm going to do that. Now I can just click this, move it to the center of uh, my movie. And it's still pretty big, but whatever. Um, so now this is where you start getting into creating the, the typewriter effect. So you've got your text selected and you want to go to layout and click the uh, swirl which will toggle animation on the selection. And then you want to make sure uh, if you're doing the typewriter effect you choose uh, character. If for some reason you, you you want to do this by line by line. If you've got a lot of uh, text or you just want to do word by word, you can select those. Uh, so we'll keep it on character. And then don't get confused. You don't have to select the selection type uh, uh, swirl. You're not automating the selection type. You're automating the selection. And then uh, if you don't want the letters to fade uh, in and out as it typewrites, then uh, you want to uncheck fade selection. And this is the part that, that got me. Uh, how you control uh, where your text is going to um, start typing from uh, is by this up here. This this is a, a selection. This is a selection bar, I guess. Uh, some the the words online of how to do this will tell you to like um, drag your timeline, which you will need to do uh, cursor, and then uh, drag the left and the right. And um, these bars down here do do stuff, uh, but that's if you want to make the effect uh, yourself. So you want to be dragging up here, um, not down here. So we're at the start of uh, the movie, zero seconds, and of course you want all the text to uh, be gone. So you're going to click this uh, blue thing here, and you're going to drag this slider in uh, all the way to the left so that your text is gone. Great, so we're starting my, my movie. Text is gone. I want this all to type right in. Now you move your uh, timeline uh, for, for where you want it to end, where you want all the text to be typewritten in um, once it's done. So I'm going to go all the way to the end of my timeline and I'm going to drag uh, the selection bar back uh, all the way to the end here. And then you see down over here get this nice uh, gradually going up line and if I start dragging my selection uh, timeline bar you can see that it's already automated it uh, for me it's already done the, the typewriting and if uh, I click play we'll see that uh, it'll I've already done the automation I don't have to mess with inserting a billion keyframes I don't have to uh, understand convoluted text written instructions online it just it just does it So I hope this video helped you.
Uh, have a good one.